Hi guys, it's Dr. Kid here. In this video, I'm going to talk about bleach baths, particularly for patients with eczema. So why would we dunk our children or anyone with eczema in a bath full of bleach? Well, the main reason is because patients that have eczema, it's been shown that they have a high load of a particular bacteria on their skin known as Staphylococcus aureus. Bleach baths help reduce the load of this bacteria on our skin and this helps reduce the severity of eczema and also helps prevent complications of eczema, such as infections of the skin. So the most common question I get asked about bleach baths and eczema by my patients is, is it safe? And the answer basically is yes. The majority of my patients that use bleach baths tolerate it extremely well with minimal side effects. Some of the potential side effects include slight irritation or burning of the skin, and very rarely some people with asthma can react to the bleach baths. But the reason that there's rarely ever any side effects is because the concentration of the bleach bath that we're gonna to show today is so dilute that it is actually more dilute than the concentration of the chemicals in the public swimming pool. So what do we need for a bleach bath? Well, there's not actually much we need. Uh, we really only need four things. The first thing that we need is some bleach. The second thing that we need is a measuring cup. The third thing that we need is a bucket. And the last thing that we need is a bath. So how do we actually do the bleach bath? Well, what we need to do is we need to mix 12 mils of the bleach with 10 liters of water. Most bleaches have 42 grams per liter of uh, the sodium hypochlorite, which is the active ingredient. And mixing 12 mils with the 10 liters will give us the concentration that we would like. So you can measure out this concentration with your measuring cup and your bucket, and then you can soak in the bath for 10 minutes. Now, if your child or the person that has eczema has some crusted lesions, you can gently wipe those off with a cloth. And then once you come out of the bath, do not wash off the bleach with water because you want the bleach to work on the skin to kill the bacteria. One tip when you're doing this, try and use white towels or old towels as you don't want to color all your colored towels uh, white. Now, how often do you do bleach baths? Well, what I tell my patients is that while your eczema has flared, do the bleach bath every day that you would normally shower or take a bath. So that could be every day. Do that until the skin is better and then you can bring it down to three times a week for maybe another couple of weeks and then maybe you bring it down just to once uh, a week for a couple of weeks and then if it's going really stable then you can stop. The last thing that I'll say about bleach baths is that it is only one aspect of the treatment for eczema. It's really important to remember to do all the other good things that are going to be helpful for eczema and tackling it with a multifaceted approach is where you're going to get the best results for your eczema. So some of those other things include avoiding excessive heat, try to avoid wool clothing and try to wear more cotton clothing, avoid excessive soap uh, in the shower or bath, and regular use of what we call emollients, which are basically just moisturizers. Lastly, you may have been prescribed some topical steroids from your doctor, which are also an important aspect to control eczema effectively. So that's bleach baths in a nutshell. If you found this video helpful, help me out by giving me a like and also a subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.